Hello everyone and welcome to ABB Robot Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to memorize robot points by using the flex pendant that you can see over here. But before I start with explanations I need to mention that this is a shorter version of the tutorial. I also created a more extended and longer version of tutorial and a link is given in the description below. So let's immediately start. In this tutorial you will learn how to memorize the points as an illustration over here I created two points. This is the first point and if I click over here and hold this button I can go to this memorized point. Then if I click on the second point that I memorized and if I click and hold the mouse button by pressing go to I will go to the second point. These two points are memorized by moving the robot to desired position and by creating a data structure that is called rob target. This data structure will store these points. These points are necessary for coding and for programming the robot. That is the standard approach for programming robots is to jog the robot to desired points then to memorize the points to create a data structure called rob target and later on to use these points in the program either in the rapid programming language or in the program that is being written by our teach pendant. Okay, let's immediately start. Over here for illustration purposes I will use Robot Studio simulation environment to explain how to memorize points. However, if you have a real ABB robot and if you have a real flex pendant you can follow the same procedure to memorize the points on your real robot. After you open Robot Studio and click on New and click on Project, you will see this menu. Over here, do not click on Include a robot in virtual controller since we will do it manually and click on Create. The first step is to create a digital twin of my robot. To do that, I will click over here on Library, I will click on this first option IRB120, click OK and here is my robot. The next step is to add my virtual controller. I can do it by clicking over here, clicking from layout, next, next, and finish. So here's my robot. Now here you have to wait until you see green over here. So be patient. Okay, let's rotate the view. To rotate the view, press and hold Control shift and press and hold left mouse button and we can rotate the robot. The next step is to bring up the teach pendant or the flex pendant window. First of all, click on the controller, then click here on operating mode, set the operating mode to manual, click on enable device, and then after that, click over here on the flex pendant and this should bring the flex pendant. Now, I'm going to put the flex pendant here and I'm going to move my robot, or better to say to pan the view a little bit to the right. To pan the view, press and hold control, press shift and move the view. Now you can safely close this and zoom in. To zoom in, you can simply use the middle mouse button, press the middle mouse button and move the mouse right. So bring back the teach pendant and let's start with memorizing the point. First, let's jog or move the robot to some desired point. To do that, click over here, click on jogging and let's select the motion mode. Let's keep this axis motion mode, click on OK and let's continue. Now I will move, for example, the first joint. I will do it by simply moving my joyst joystick left. OK. And let's assume that I want to memorize this point. So what is the point that we are actually memorizing? Well, we are memorizing the coordinates of this point. That is the center of this coordinate system attached to the face plate of our robot. And this is very important. How do I know that? Well, here you can see that tool zero is selected and that's precisely just this coordinate system over here since we didn't attach and then the factor. And over here, there is a, another interesting thing, is that you have the current work object, it's work object zero, and since we didn't define any work object, 
this work object coordinate system is actually identical to the base coordinate system. Now, click over here on axis and select linear motion mode and you will see X, Y, and Z. So what are these X, Y, and Z? X, Y, and Z are the coordinate of this point in the work object, position in coordinate work object. So we have work object zero and that's precisely what we are tracking. So here you have tool zero and let's continue. So now if we move this motion mode, let's say if you move linearly, we are moving along X, Y, and Z axis and you can see the coordinate system. You can play here with the coordinate system. If it's like the work object coordinate system, nothing changes here, right? So see again, work object, if I click on base, the coordinates are the same, 267 minus 187, 594. Again, double check this and you see work object, basically nothing changed. So let's go back to our base and let's keep it as it is. Okay, next, let's learn how to memorize this point. To memorize this point, we actually need to do the following. First of all, click here, then click on program data. And over here, we need to find the proper option. Over here, you can see the data structures that are used to program, or better to say, to code ABB robots. And we need to find the data structure that's used to define and memorize points. To do that, you need to click on view and click on all data types. We need to do that since our these data types over here are the ones that we often use. And click all here to bring all the data types. And now you need to scroll down and to find ROB target, R-O-B target. So let's go all the way down. And here it is. So here is ROB target. Click here and you can double click to bring this menu. Next, we need to create the point. So what's the procedure for creating the point? First, move your robot to the desired point or better to say move this point to desired point and then click on new. And over here, let's call this point, like for example, point one. Don't play with scope, storage type, and task since we will do that in our future video tutorials and click OK. Now let's double click here and let's see what is written. So you see the coordinates 267 minus 187, 187 and 594. These are the coordinates of this point in the coordinate system. So what is the coordinate system? Over here, it's basically the base coordinate system since we didn't define the work object and the work object is basically base in our case. So click on OK. And keep in mind these points and let's go back to the jogging and you can see 267, 187, 594, 267, 187, 594. And these are the precise points that are mem memorized. Click OK. How do we know that this point is perfectly memorized? Well, we can do the following. We can try to jog the robot to another position, for example, to this point, and let's now try to move the robot to this point one. Well, to do that, we need to click on jogging, then we have this option go to. So click on go to and you will see your point. We can see active work object is work object zero and active tool, tool zero, means that we are just tracking this point. So click here, and look now what will happen. If I now press this button and hold it, my robot will actually move to this point, and that's it. That's how you automatically can move to desired point. So the benefit of the benefit of all this is that you can memorize certain safe position for the robot, and you can always jog the robot to. Next, let's define another point to practice point creation. So click on close, and over here again. You can click on program data or you can, for example, bring it up by clicking here and clicking program data. However, this window will be active. And then let's, how see, let's see how to create a point. Again, let's practice. First of all, move the robot to another point that you want to memorize. For example, this point over here. 
So click on new, let's call the point point two and click on OK. That's it, here's the point two. You can see X, Y, and Z coordinates. And of course, if you click once here, you can actually modify these coordinates. However, we are not going to do that at this point. So click here on jogging and let's test this. So let's move to some arbitrary position, for example, and let's test these points. Click on go to to bring the points. Let's go to point two, hold and press. We go to point two. Let's go to point one, hold and, hold and press, and that's it. Simple as that. Okay, that's all for today.